my channel hope you guys are having an amazing day in today's video i am going to be doing a what's in my bag winter edition i know i did one a couple like two months ago but i did change bags and the reason why is because i'm currently working so i wanted to get a bag that's very practical for work and it's just something very casual because the one i have is really nice so my first what's in my bag was the coach yes yeah, so the what's in my bag that i did uh Two months ago was the what's in my coach bucket bag and I really like that bag but I usually use that bag whenever I'm going out or I don't know like somewhere out like I wanted to get something for work so I did end up purchasing the Marc Jacobs mini tote bag and it's really nice so the reason why I got this bag is because I saw a lot of uh, TikToks on it and a lot of YouTube videos. That's the thing that whenever I purchase something, I always like to watch reviews and stuff like that before I actually commit to it. And I thought it was perfect for work. Um, I was debating whether to get the mini size or the small one, but I think the mini is perfect for me. Eventually, I would want to get the small one because I feel like that'd be nice if I ever want to carry my computer or iPad. I mean, my iPad will fit here, but it won't really close. But this is how it looks, and I got it in the black uh, canvas, and I wanted to get it in the beige, but I just love black and white, and I feel like black is very timeless. So I'm going to show you guys what I keep in it, and yeah, this is how it looks. And I would recommend if you guys to purchase this bag to get a lint roller, because it does pick up a lot of dust. But let's go ahead and get right into the video. Before we do, don't mind my hair. I didn't know what to do with it, but hey, you know what? We'll just go with the flow. So yeah, so it pretty much looks like this and it's, I think it's 10 and a half inches wide, which is really nice. So this is like I said, perfect for an everyday bag and it does have a zipper. And the first thing that I do keep in there, of course, is my phone. So I do have the iPhone uh, 13 Pro and I did do like an unboxing. So here it is. And I just switched up the case to a clear one because I don't know, I just think that the white looks super nice. And then I just carry my keys and like, here it is, and I drive a Fiat. So if you guys want to do a car, if you guys would like to see a car tour, please like this video. And I'm gonna go ahead and just get into the bag. So I was looking for um, like an organizer for it, but I couldn't find one. So I just pretty much put everything in little pouches. So I try to keep everything organized and as clean as possible. The first thing in there is some wet one, some wet one wipes. So I always carry some sort of wipes, whether it's Lysol or wet ones, just because. Every time I go out, like I just, you know, you touch something or in the car. I also keep like a little um, hygienic little thing in my car, like with like mask and hand sanitizer, just because of COVID, you know, times are rough, so you have to pretty much keep your hands clean. So I keep a pack of wet one wipes in here. And then I also did keep my sunglasses and I have the sunglasses that I've had for a couple of years now. And these are the key, just they're sun, like black sunglasses. And I don't really like changing sunglasses because I don't really go out much. And I feel like black, they're timeless. And I carry uh, another one in my car, but they're like a brown color. So I always carry this with me. And then I have my AirPods Pro. So I keep this in there as well. And this are, I'm just pulling them out as I go. And some hand sanitizer. So I really love the Trader Joe's hand sanitizer. Um, I, last time I talked about the Touchland brand. But I was out of it, so I just purchased this one, and I really like it, so I carry one in the car, my husband's car, and then on my purse, and my wallet. So same wallet as the one I did on my wallet and my purse, my YSL um, wallet, and I just keep some credit cards and my vaccination card and my ID, so pretty much that's all I have in there, and I'm going to get into like the little pouches. So I keep two of these um, just to kind of separate things and and this one yeah so pretty much um, like I said I keep in here hygienic stuff so uh, band-aid I have some uh, face like disposable face masks I also carry some in the car and I also have uh, these little alcohol prep pads so I usually use these to like kind of wipe my phone or just you know like little wipes just in case and I have some like flushable wipes and Tylenol, just like your little first aid kind of feminine products in here. And then I recently came across this um, page on TikTok. It's called August Day, and it's a girl, and she pretty much she creates uh, feminine products like feminine products like pads, tampons, and panty liners. And her story behind the company is that she it she does things very sustainable. 
So I'm not gonna go into too much detail. If you guys would like me to do like a feminine uh, products video, then I would love to do that. I feel like not a lot of people talk about that because it's kind of embarrassing, but I honestly, we all get our periods. So yeah, so pretty much um, she says that regular pads take from 500 to 1,000 years to decompose and then hers take, I think, up to a year. So I'm very excited. So I just keep some of these in here and that's the first pouch and then on the second one i have let me see oh so yeah so here's more of like uh makeup and i have lotion so i have the user userin extremely dry lotion because i do get very dry hands during the winter time i have a mini let roller um because i do wear black most of the time and i do have a dog that sheds a lot so this is pretty handy and i also have one in the car my husband carries one because our dog shits, shits like crazy. And I just have a mirror. And I just have some lip products as well. So I have a, like the Fenty Beauty lip gloss. And this Too Faced lip balm. I really like this. My sister-in-law got me into it. And I had to repurchase it because I ran out. I also have the Lime uh, Crime lip gloss and Butter Cherry. And some aquaphor for my dry lips and i just have a this is like my favorite uh structured lipstick it's by revlon in the color mink and it's a very very pretty like um like natural color so i'm gonna play it <laughs> um yeah but i really really like this and i just carry just some lip products because you know sometimes you're not wearing makeup and you want to uh, look a little put together and i just carry some uh bobby pins and little hair ties and just some tweezers just in case you know when i plug them eyebrows but yeah that's pretty much all i carry i try to keep everything super minimal and super clean because i don't like carrying like a lot of stuff and i am always organizing and switching purses and i think these little pouches i got them on amazon it came in a pack i think of 10 and it came with some beige ones and some black ones so it just keeps everything really nice and if i ever want to switch purses i'll just uh, switch them and i really like him so yeah pretty much that's all i keep in here and other than my phone and like my vlogging camera so it fits there and i really really like this like i said eventually in the future i would like to buy the small one because i feel like that's a really good bag like if you're ever going now and like you need to take your camera or your ipad or something but i really really like this and you guys should definitely check it out it's, i feel like it's very affordable for i guess like you could say like a designer bag i mean it's still pretty I mean, I guess yeah, you can say affordable. It's less than two hundred dollars. So for me, I don't like to purchase a lot of designer bags, and I like to keep things very uh, minimal and like things that I could wear year round. So I feel like this is perfect for work, and also if I'm going out on a casual day or stuff like that, like it is technically like it's the perfect size for an everyday bag. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have in my bag. Other than you know my keys and my phone, I always kind of keep this in my in my hand. So yeah, so pretty much that's all I carry. You know, every once in a while I'll throw in something a little bit different. But pretty much just like my everyday uh, bag, and I'm very excited. I did also purchase one from Shein. It should be arriving soon, and it's like a beige tote bag. So I will definitely do like a review once I receive it. But I just wanted to see like how different they were. Like I said, this is perfect for me and for my everyday necessities before i end uh, today's video i do want to tell you guys uh thank you for all the love and support that i've been getting on my channel i know i say that pretty often like all the time but honestly i just can't thank you guys enough ever since i started my youtube channel you know like it just i've been getting a lot of love and support and i know that i don't have a lot of subscribers but the fact that i actually get to interact with people and get to know people because of what i'm doing i am really really thankful for that and i am thinking of maybe doing a small giveaway once i reach 500 subscribers i still don't know what i'm gonna do but i thought it'd be kind of nice to give you guys a little thank you gift just for everything so i'm still gonna think about it and eventually if i do decide what i'm gonna give out then i will post it on my instagram and then like just put some rules that you guys should follow but other than that thank you guys so much for watching and i can't wait to see you go but thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below and turn on your and turn on your notifications so every time i upload you guys get notified and i'll see you guys in my next video bye